Hey, if you've ever been asked to install something to Word or Excel, hit that subscribe button. People ask sysadmins the craziest things. Hey, I'm Lex from PDQ.com. I'm gonna show you how to use uh, custom variables in inventory. Let's jump in. To do a custom variable, you go to Options, Variables. A lot of times people use variables to put in versions of software that's gonna change on a fairly frequent basis. I'm just gonna show you how I would do this, okay? I'm gonna use 7-zip because that's one that I know about, and we'll just call it version, okay? And you notice, I just typed in 7-zip ver, and you notice the variables above right here have that at with parentheses. As soon as I go into the value field, that'll get added for me. That's how I'm gonna reference it. Um, current version of 7-zip is 19.00. So I'll put that in as the, the um, obviously the value for that variable. Now let's go build a dynamic collection. Quick dynamic collection, give me any computer. We'll just call this um, looks like current, current, boy, I can't even spell. We'll say 7-zip latest, okay? So give me any computer where the application name contains, we'll say 7-zip, and we'll add another variable here, or another filter here that says the version is um, not lower than, and we'll add this extra here. You click on this, we'll go to our custom variables, our 7-zip variable. Give that an OK, and now we should see, drag this over here, there it is. There's all the machines that have got 7-zip 19. I'm going to build a report using that same variable. So let's just do this real quick. Report, new report, basic report, computer, application name. We'll add application version. Okay. And our filter is going to be the same. We'll say uh, application name contains 7-zip. And then we'll add the application version. We'll use that same version comparison here. Version not lower than, and I'll use that custom variable, which is 7-zip. I'm going to copy this. We're going to put this in the description, okay? Version. Okay, and we'll call this 7-zip uh, latest. Run that report. And of course, I did something wrong. <laughs> collection source. Let's run it on all computers. That's probably the best thing. Run it on everybody. Boom. And of course I did something wrong here. So version, version lower than, not lower than. There you go, guys. Not lower than. Boom. Now I run it and it works. Okay. The nice thing, again, this comes back fast, so I can go, you know, troubleshoot. Obviously you saw that right there. Version 19, right? We're going to save this. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is Let's say 7-zip 20 comes out. All I've got to do in here is go and I change my variable here to 7-zip 20.00, okay? And all the versions will get changed for me. So this, as soon as this updates, since I don't have anybody with 7-zip 20 on it, there's nobody that's the latest. And if I run the report again, run report 7-zip latest, it also is going to come up blank and notice there's the version number right there. So again, the nice thing is I changed a dynamic collection. I changed a report just by changing a variable in one place. So variables can, you know, expedite the work you need to do when you, you know, when, when versions get changed. So thanks for watching. I'm Lex from PDQ.com.